All right then, so now we've seen how to deploy a static website to Firebase Hosting. Now I'd like to show you how to deploy something slightly different, a single page application. Now we can create a single page application or an SPA with something like React or Angular or Vue. I've chosen to use Vue.js and the way we deploy these to Firebase is ever so slightly different. Not much, but ever so slightly. So I've already used Vue.js to create this project right here, Mario Code Club, and this is where I am in the terminal down at the bottom. Now I did this by just basically saying view, create, and then the name of the application, Mario Code Club, and it generated this boilerplate project for me with all these different folders and files. Now I don't want to get bogged down too much with Vue.js and how to use Vue. If you want to learn all about that, then I do have a completely free tutorial series here on YouTube, Vue.js for beginners, so I'll leave that link down below. I do also have a Udemy course which goes into Vue.js and Firebase in depth as well. But anyway, just very quickly, inside the router.js file, we can see I have two different routes set up, one for the home page, just forward slash, and one for about. I also have the mode set to history so we don't see those little hashes inside the URLs. Now, the way a single page application works is that we always serve up a single index.html file. That's the only thing that's ever served to the browser. And then JavaScript takes over and when we visit a certain URL, then we still serve up that single index page and dependent on the URL, we load a different component into that page. Now this is important because when we come to initialize our Firebase project shortly, we're gonna set up an option so that Firebase always sends back the index file to the browser regardless of what URL we visit, okay? So we have two different routes here, home and about, and I can open those up inside views. So we have the home page right here, and we have the about page right here. Very, very simple. It's just a boilerplate project, and I've just changed the colors and the text a little bit. So anyway, that is our view project. Now, the first thing we need to do is initialize a Firebase project inside this directory, Mario Code Club. So make sure you're in the right directory. And then we say Firebase in it like so. Now, again, this is going to ask us a couple of different questions. First of all, are you ready to proceed? Yep. And then what do we want to use? We want to use the hosting, press enter. Now we want to apply it to the Firebase Hosting Ninja project on the back end. So we're going to overwrite the stuff that we've previously deployed. So I'm going to select this one. Now, what do you want as your public directory? Now, previously we left this as default, which is public. And remember that was the folder that Firebase then generated and then we deployed it to Firebase. Now, if you notice over here, we already have a public folder and Vue.js uses this for something else. Now, when we build a Vue.js project, it builds it into a dist folder. And that dist folder is the thing that then we're meant to deploy. So I'm gonna change the public directory down here for Firebase to dist. So when we use Firebase deploy, it's gonna look for the dist folder and deploy that instead of the default value of public. So I'm gonna press enter now. Now configure as a single page application, rewrite all URLs to index.html. Well, this time we want to select yes. Now, when we created a static website, we said no, because we don't just want to send everyone to index.html regardless of what URL they visit. We want to load up the correct page. But now, since we're using a single page application using Vue, or it could be React, or it could be Angular, now we only ever want to serve up index.html because then JavaScript takes over and it loads in the components that we want to show, but we always serve up the same index.html. So this is gonna take care of the server-side configuration to do this for us. So this time we press yes and then enter, and that is it. We've initialized this project now. So we can see now we have this file, Firebase RC, also firebase.json down here, and we have a git ignore as well. We can also see this dist folder over here with index.html inside it. Now notice now we don't have a 404 page because this has been configured as a single page application. So even if they go to forward slash something or other that doesn't exist, it's still gonna route them to the index page and then JavaScript takes over. So now we would configure our 404 inside Vue.js itself, not in this dist folder as a separate file. So anyway, 
This is the dummy index page. Now we don't want to deploy this. We now want to build our view application so that all the files go inside this dist folder and then we want to deploy it. So let me cross this off and down here, I'm just gonna say clear to give us a bit of room. Then I'm gonna say npm run build. This is what we use to build our view application. So press enter, that's just gonna take a few seconds to do. Okay, now that's done and inside dist now, we should see some different things. Now we see the CSS for our project, the JavaScript, and we also see a new index file. So let's just preview this before we actually deploy it. So I'm gonna say Firebase serve now. And now because we specified before that we want to use the dist folder instead of public, it's gonna serve up whatever is inside dist. And it says that right down here. So let's view this in a browser. I'm gonna just control click over here. And now we can see this application. If we click on about, it goes to forward slash about. We're still serving up the index page because we've configured this as a single page application. But now, we get this different component loaded in. So that's the preview, everything's looking good. Now we want to deploy it to Firebase. So let's do that. Over here, I'm gonna cancel out of this project by pressing Control C, terminate, yes. And now we want to deploy this project. Now to do that, remember, we say Firebase, deploy like so, and that will deploy this folder to Firebase right here. All right then, so now that's done, let's come over to our project on the back end and refresh. And fingers crossed, let's hope this works. We should see another deployment over here when it eventually loads. And we can see now April 11th, 6 p.m., which is two hours later than I did the other video. So now we can see this new deployment. And if we open this up in a browser, then we should see this new application and we can do. And notice, even though we're going to different URLs, we're still getting the same HTML page back. There's no loading time here. It's not serving up an about.html page. It's always index.html. And even if I go to something like this, it's gonna serve up index.html. Now we don't see any component loaded here. We just see the nav because our view project isn't correctly set up to handle these different 404 cases, but it's still serving up the same index file. And that's why that option was so important when it said configure this as a single page application. And the same would apply if it was React or Angular or some other kind of framework. So there we go, my friends. That's how we deploy a single page application to Firebase. In the next video, I'm gonna go through some final configuration options and also show you how to set up some redirects as well.